Hey guys, I'm Vivian, and on this episode of Food in Real Life on Guru Hub, we're going to see if we can make these super adorable cracklings. And just a little bit about me. My life revolves around food. These may look like amazing pieces of art that you see in museums and might have taken me hundreds of hours to make, but at the end of the day, there's nothing better than seeing my vision come to life. When other kids were making macaroni art, I was making a fool of myself for being extra. So my friend Natalie sent me a photo on Instagram of a pâté choux made by Duo More Patisserie. The pate choux, also known as a cream puff, but technically we're making a crackling which has a cookie crust on top and it just makes it a zillion times better. Anyways, we cyber stalked the IG and we came up with the same question. You know, would it be tasty? So we're about to find out if these little pieces of heaven taste as good as they look in real life. So, let's pop First of all, whoever told me making these would be easy, lied. Mixing the batter, making the cookie crust, whipping up the filling was easy. Baking part, <sighs> well folks, not my brightest moment. After 10 minutes in the oven, I'm supposed to turn down the heat and leave the door slightly ajar. That was a huge fail. So bake them a little longer, right? Well, that didn't work either. You know what? Science was never my best subject. And so here we are. Aren't they the cutest little things? But the real question is, are they good enough to grace their taste buds? And to find out, I want to welcome on our show the person that challenged me to make these. Everyone, please meet my friend Natalie. <laughs> Natalie is here all the way from Canada and was the one that sent me the Instagram photo. So I thought it was only right that she tries these super cute creations. Are you ready? Heck yes. Let's get cracking. Sorry, got to taste everything. Okay. But really, really good. Definitely different than the conventional pre puff. I love the cookie crumb on the top. That's mm -hmm. a nice little crunch. However, I think my favorite part has to be the cream filling. I think I taste a little bit of hazelnut in there. It's the Nutella. Oh my god, I love Nutella. Okay, so I'm definitely enjoying this. <laughs> well, there you have it. Looks like these cracklings get my and Nally's seal of approval <laughs> for tasting as good as they look in real life. And that's it for this episode. I hope you guys had a tasty time and don't forget to use the hashtag Guru Hub on your socials because your foodie question might be answered on the next episode. The eyes, the eyes don't lie. Oh, eyes. <laughs> they, these been through a lot. They have been. Uh, they like, look like they just came like back. They're like prisoners of war. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs>